Hi and welcome back for our final match of the day, day two, and it's between Christina to catch and Pierce Labutis from Lithuania. So here comes the lag, race to four, best of two sets, and if we level the shootout. And Christina won the lag there by quite some distance, and uh, Tony Robles has gone off to get some well-earned dinner joining me once again the legend mr nate bindham i'm surrounded by them you're stuck with me again pal here we go this is going to be a good one just like they always are but christina to catch versus uh i would say probably a little bit unknown of a player in uh ps but i'm telling you what guy plays strong i've been hanging out with him a lot lately since uh the u.s open have you been teaching him your break uh, yeah, I've been teaching oh, him. Oh, he's got no chance there. Oh, I've been, <laughs> I've been teaching him everything, what not to do. <laughs> yeah, just 23 years old. From I think he's from Vilnius, actually, in Lithuania. The number one Lithuanian player. He was a player in the World Cup of Pool this year. That's where I know the name from. I bet you can't remember the name of who he played with. I cannot. Nor can I. <laughs> Checkmate. <laughs> Checkmate, did you say? Something like that, yeah. Pretty tough rack to get started with. I think he's probably going to have to draw maybe back in between this 10 and 9 ball. Four balls in a kind of a precarious spot. He's finished a little bit short on that one, Nate. Yes, he has. And that's why I thought he'd maybe draw between the 9 and the 10 ball, because then he'd have the angle to, a much better angle to be able to go in between the seven and the six for the four ball. So it, it is a race to four, as I said. We're playing 10 ball. Early 10s do count if you've just joined us. Oh, what a shot this was. Did he give up a window? Mm, I think she can just squeeze past the six. Well, even if she can't see it, she will be jumping at this. She will not be kicking at this ball. There you see the overhead right on cue. And I'm thinking. It's got to be pretty close. Yeah. She's looking, as she called extension? She yes, has. she has. And she's gone for the jump, as you said. Fedor just sits down in the arena to watch Christina play. There he is. Promising up and comer that. Him, you know? He might be someone someday. What do you think? I've seen worse. <laughs> wow what a great jump avoided the th oh yeah she's just avoided the scratch and you know what it's not too bad this is a pretty difficult return i don't think she's going to like her next shot very much though well i'm not i'm not sure where's the safety at i don't think he can hold for three rails and get the three ball up table there you go uh, he Doesn't was it just lift. able to. Oh, but this is an okay. even better opportunity that she just had for a jump shot. Yeah. She's already used her extension, so if she's going to jump, she has to get it quickly. 30 second shot clock is in use here, of course. One extension only per player per rack, and she's already taken it, so she's going to have to get a bit of a move on here, and there's a lot of preparation for a jump. It just before the beep and I'll I'm not completely convinced she was trying to make that ball I think she was trying to play safe because even if she does make that ball the chance of her getting over for that four ball were almost zero so I think she was actually trying to play a safe yeah I think and get the, the three no, ball there's no joy there's no yeah. value in making this ball now either so it'll be another safe won't it yeah between the nine and four and another jump shot Wow, she's getting her money's worth out of her jump cue today. <laughs> Since Fedor sat down, he's seen her play three jump yes. shots. <laughs> is he biting his nails with a bit of nerves? This is the lost side, of course, so fighting to stay in. Well, if Fedor is anything like me, I get more nervous watching people I care about play than I do myself playing. 
and that's another great jump shot. But oh, it's leaked out. Look at the shot he's got on here, Nate. Yeah, I was going to say, this one is not going to be as good mm. for Christina. It, I mean, I, I think he's going to take this on, but it wouldn't surprise me a bit if he does end up electing for another safety. If the nine ball does not pass, or the seven ball does not pass the nine ball into the, the left middle pocket. Oh, can you believe it? Oh. Missed the intended carom. Now then, is he thinking of playing the 4 6 8? Or would that just be a crazy Mark White shot? Oh. You know, I think you, I think you do take it on here. Nope, he's banking at it. Oh, you know what I think he's going to do? I think he's going to play the, the four ball off of the six ball and play a safety. Two way shot, just like this. Great shot. I think that's a great shot. I like that. You call it just in case. There you see us splitting the, the difference between the balls. Christina, of course, just 22 years old and a real up-and-coming female player. Some say she's already there. Well, she's not far away. And she's certainly not far away from that four ball. But it's not... If you're hitting them, it's just what you leave right now. Ah, uh, he... She left... No, the four four ball straight into the corner. So this is just basically a test of your queuing right here. A little early in the match. Maybe your arm's still a little tight. Dead straight in. Length of the table. Oh. No problem. Nice stroke. And I must admit, other than seeing a little bit of him on TV, I've not seen much of... Pierce. I've never heard of him until la well, I've, I'd heard of him I should say I'd never talked to him or really talked about him since uh, last week but I'm telling you what Oof. well oh and a scratch on and top a of scratch, it scratch even better for Christina. and I was just about to say I've been very very impressed with him both on and off the table as you can see he's sitting on his chair over there he's got uh <laughs> he's got a cute up hoodie on right underneath there he's been wearing it since I gave it to him a couple days ago he's We've been chatting quite a bit the last is few days. Anyone you very is there anyone you haven't been <laughs> one of them to? Every person I see is wearing <laughs> one of your hoodies. <laughs> well, he's... Uh, I'm, I'm very impressed with him as a person and as a player. As I am with a lot of the European young players. Yeah, couldn't have played that much better. Now then, she's got the bank. Is she going to take the bank on? <sighs> I think you cut this ball. I think you cut it because... Oh, it's a bit of a fine one, isn't it? It is, but it's a guaranteed positional shot. You could, you'll be up into the top right. Anywhere up in the top right, you'll have the 8 to the left middle. The bank, you're, you're not guaranteed a great shot. I think you cut it. I don't think it's cuttable. It is cuttable. Wow. Just shows you. Can I have your seat? <laughs> <laughs> Just... Just to let you know, we've, we're, we're basically seeing the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> That's, uh, the, the positional shot's a little bit easier, or it's quite a bit easier with the cut shot. That's the only way you play it that way. I think the bank is maybe an easier shot, but you have to worry about position off the bank. You don't have to worry yeah, about it with the cut. It looks so different to me, that did. I think the only eye I've got is going. <laughs> I'm in big trouble. We just need to put you on a 12-foot table and you'll... You know, I'll, I'll be calling all the wrong shots. <laughs> I'll have no idea what I'm doing. If only I could see 12 foot. Oof. So. I got to go back to the bar tables after this. I found out I can't see nine foot away. <laughs> well, can Christina see nine foot away? She certainly can. Nice straight in 10. Come on, or almost straight. And in it goes. Rack number one. So she's won it on serve and she will break the next one. It is winner breaks. What do you feel about that? How do you like that? Do you prefer winner break or alternate the break? Mm. Or Depends loser's what break? The race is. Do you know what I would love? Just to watch any kind of pull with a magic rack, with a, with a triangle, with no triangle. I just want to see balls flying around the table and that sound of balls hitting the back of pockets. I don't care about it. I'm not playing, so I, it doesn't bother me. I just yep. want to see some, in, some interesting, fascinating, fun pull.
that's about it. So, talking of racking, referee John Lehman, wing ball John as they call him. Doing his thing, getting them as tight as he possibly can. And Christina to break off. This is her second uh, TV table match, is that right? Yeah, she played. The first one was against Eklund yeah. yeah. And you was with me on I that one. I was with you in that one. And I tell you, not a, a break. bad break. Not and a bad she's break got at the all. one in the side, and look, goes off the two as well, Nate. You definitely don't want to play it off the two, though. You don't want to play it off the you two? Don't not, nope, because the two ball's in a good spot right now. If you play it off the two... It looks like it's going to stay there because of the five ball, but you never know what kind of roll you might get out of it. If you if you don't have to play this off the two ball, I suspect that she will not. I think that's what she's looking at, though, is she? Is she looking at the cutting angle? Does she run into the six if she cuts it? I think she doesn't. Uh, she will not run into the no. six ball. Not if she th if she if she goes off the two ball. If she goes off thick, and she might be doing that, but we'll watch the two ball. It might end up going right onto that uh, jaw, that bottom jaw. Oh, I love the way she's and played that. She played went into the six ball. It's a great shot. Well played. So, could be going two up here. No real problems I can see. No, I think just uh, getting a good enough angle onto the four ball so that you don't have to worry about going away from the five ball. So Almost. she wants to be about where she is right now where, or further to the left. Almost looks like a drill. A little bit, yeah. So she'll, she'll want to be to the left of where she is. Same, it looks like a drill. I uh, place six balls over six pockets and try and pop them. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> well, I think this is going to be rolling a long ways, Mark. Yeah, the table has been running really fast and... Still shouldn't be a big issue, but she's going to have to go over and back. She might even have to go over, back, and over if she really wants to let out her stroke. And I've been studying her technique a lot. She has that really long pause before she strokes. Very unique to her. Reminds me of a... See if you can guess who I'm talking about, mate. You know him as well as I do. A guy with a very, very long pause on his break. Almost looks like a stream <laughs> is frozen before he breaks. Who am I talking Ivan about? Ivan Maluto. Exactly. <laughs> he was... He might... Uh, he, I think his nickname should be like... Uh, but they call him Take Time, don't they? In they call him that? Take Time in. I think in he the should be. I think he should be called the COVID King. During the during COVID, he won every single virtual event he played in. I feel like. Yeah, he was amazing, wasn't he? Yeah, he he was a master of those virtual events. Yeah. And still playing in them now. Yeah. Yeah. Well, why not? If you if you play that good in them. I want to say a big hi to Jason Newgood again, as 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 well at the uh, Power Break Billiard Hall. Yeah. We love Jason, does a lot of good for Paul. Yeah, in the UAE. Yeah, Abu Dhabi. Always think of the Flintstones when I say that. Yabba dabba doo. <laughs> Abu Dhabi doo. <laughs> just a little two foot draw stroke here. Get the cue ball back just through where, sh where it is right now. Oh, she overdrew this one. No, she didn't. She's perfect. The kind so of change of camera there played a trick on me. So 2-0 it's going to be if she puts this straight forward 10, which I know she will. And it goes, and we'll be back after the break.
back. Welcome to the Kellogg Arena here in Battle Creek. CSI Predator US Pro Billiard Series. It's the Michigan Open. Christina to catch. 2-0 up on Pius Labutis breaking off rack number three to get on the hill. One ball just misses, and I think this is dry. Nine look ball. at that cluster no. over here. Well, and look at the nine ball going over to join the party. And you know what? Blocked the only way that you could get onto the two ball. If that nine ball wasn't there, he would be able to draw this back and hit that gap. Does the two go off the nine in the side? Can't get to it. We're going to be seeing a safety. He'll be coming off the left side of the, the one ball, coming around the six ball, and getting into that cluster as best he can. It's called the bank shot. So maybe he's playing this with a view, of course, to safety. Yeah, he's, he's playing it just in case it goes, but he's, he's playing the safety. He's not going to get it there. He's left an edge, I think. I think he has left an edge, and that's a... I don't want to say that's the edge he wants. Yeah. Yes, it is. So now it's just hitting it thin enough that you're able to get by the seven ball off of two cushions. You don't want to run into the seven ball full or you'll leave a shot on the one ball. So this has got to be hit extremely thin. Yeah, needs a catchy, a catchy clip and got it. Played it very well. Okay, maybe it's leaked out slightly, but it was a great shot. It's opened things up just slightly. Oh, I think this is going to be an ultra soft one. Just sneaking the cue ball just behind that four ball. It's a bit of a stretch as well over the ten ball. Just to be very careful here. We are playing all ball fouls, of course. Very touchy shot, this. I think you just... Nope, he's going to give it a little extra. One ball's going to be over the pocket, but is the six ball going to be in the way? Yes. I think it's just a straightforward kick shot, this. Well, I don't I don't no, know if it is, Mark. Jump. Is she jumping? No, I think she's. I think. I think the one rail, the bottom and the left rail are not available. I think the seven ball blocks the left rail, and I think the... The seven ball also blocks the bottom rail. I think she has, she has to jump it just to get one rail at this. Wow. I thought she, she could have got around it with a lot of right hand English. Obviously not. Well, now she needs a bit of luck here. She needs a bit of luck. She she's needs that cue ball to run. It's not going to, but she's going to be one to the two. She's going to be in jail after this. I think the two ball passes the nine ball, but I don't. I don't know that he'll take that on. I she, he might just lock her up on the bottom side of that three ball with no kicking lanes. Unless he thinks... I like going for this anyway. Well, he, he might do that and then lock her up on the three ball. If he stops a cue ball, he can play the three ball up to the top left and run freeze her on the bottom of the nine ball. Yeah, no chance of getting on the four. So as you say, Nate, it's going to be a lock up behind the nine. I think so. So twice Christine has oh. been to the table. And twice she's been, as you say, in jail. And I think uh, if you if you looked at the cue ball, it kind of got like a little rock on it the last second towards the rail. And I think that actually helped it, uh, him out a little bit because that took away a little bit more of the kicking lane off of the very short rail right next to it. I don't think that's available now. It might not have been available before, but it certainly isn't from here. So she's looking at two rails coming between the five and the seven. Oh, that's that's no good. That's no good. Uh, Six is in the way for the two rail, I think, coming this way. I think it is as well. I think... Uh, I this think is a real lock-up. And don't forget the shot clock as well. I so think what she's you'll... against it. I think what she'll settle on is going to just to the left. Okay, so she thinks it. Oh, she might be going off the. She going off the jaw. She might be going. She off might the be going off the jaw. Off the, off the pocket, yeah. Oh, what a good effort! Went off the nose. And she, unfortunately for her, she made the four ball easier. Yeah. That's desperate. That's, that's desperate, <laughs> right there. Yeah, I mean, what else did she have? Nothing. Yeah, she was completely in jail.
just a straight draw back on this shot. And the only work is getting from that 7 to the 8 ball. That's her only chance now, as you say. Seven to the eight. That centre table should be okay for him on that. Well. He's still okay. He, he should be able to actually, if he wanted to here. Run into the eight? Run into the ten. Run into the ten. Because then, because then, if you run into the eight, you can get hooked. If you run into yeah. the ten ball, you can't. I, I still wouldn't do it. I think I would wrap it a little bit tighter. And just come out to the center of the table, but if you were going, you you could if you wanted to. I I don't think it's the right shot, but so on this one, I like actually connecting that second rail on that left side, that left long rail, instead of just floating out to you know kind of where he's at right now. I actually like going all the way over to the other rail, because then you're good say from half of the table over you're playing the entire time and good yeah, he's played it well though hasn't he i don't know if he has or not he's making a face like he might be in a little bit of trouble but if, if you have enough angle there to go all the way over to the left rail and back out you can never leave it short but these i mean these players are just they're just so good at controlling their speed that but for an amateur player it's a little bit of a a help potentially. A good tip. This is going to bring the score to two to one. Yeah, just one behind. A little bit of a well, 50 yard line shot. This is the good 50 yard line though. Yeah. <laughs> Where both shots are available and you don't know which one's the best. Looks like he's electing for the side pocket. Yeah, no problem. And in it goes. And we'll be back after a little break. Very interesting battle, actually, between Pierce Labutis from Lithuania, Kristina Tkach from Moscow in Russia. And it's a loser side match, and the loser of this game will go home. It's unfortunate that one of these players has to be going home, but that's the nature of the pool tournament, huh? 
Yeah, as he broke him, Nate. Dry break, I think. Yeah, he's dry straight away. Christina out of her chair. And talking of lost side. Fedor also there in the background. On the lost side, put there today by Eklund Kachi. That's nicely played. Great shot. Keep the pressure on. But she did leave open the the one rail, so if she could get it a little bit closer to the five ball, she would have taken that away and almost certainly gotten a ball in hand out of it. Now she's going to give Pius an opportunity to return safe. And actually with a pretty good opportunity if he can get a full contact into the one ball. Yeah, it's gone okay. I think uh, I like banking the one ball up table here. If she can get the cue ball up table, I think I, I think that's a good option. But I'm not sure if she can get by the seven ball from where she's at. There's a lot of traffic, but she's made it, has she? She's got through the gap. She's got through the gap. Needs a little bit of luck, and she's got yeah. it. Well, this nice is a little kiss. This is about as routine as a jump shot as it gets for players these days. Would you fancy making this one, Nate? I would. I would expect him to make this with positioning. Players, players have gotten just so incredibly good with the jump cue. How do you feel about the jump shot? <laughs> it's 50% of my game, pal. <laughs> oh, and he's missed it. Well, either that or he played it safe. <laughs> yeah. But I think, I think it we're just in the jump cue again. <laughs> I think it leaked out. I think it leaked out on him for. Uh, she's calling the bank, so she can clearly see it. These have been very slow, kind of grinded out games between the two of them so far. I don't think the double kiss is on, is it? No, no. no. Just caught it nice and thin. That's not going to do her any good, though. Well, the jump cue again, maybe. He might grab it. I think he's a mez player. I'm not sure what the this, uh, break cue is like, but I think I would be using a break cue on this shot for the jump. Looks like it's only about a half a ball. Oh. And Maybe again. You taught him jumping as well, Nate. Well, <laughs> I'm thinking at the end of this match, I might have to go teach him jumping. <laughs> no, I'm For those just of you kidding. that don't know, Nate is the go to jump guy. When you play positioning like I do, <laughs> you have to be right. You spend a lot of time. <laughs> spend a lot of time jumping. Actually, it's a nice angle coming around the back of the tent. Oh, she's caught it much too thick, and that's why she went the other side of the tent. Oh, and she's going to get she had a bit of love. safe again. I think the edge of the one ball's available. A little smile there. I think she thinks she got away with it a little bit. I think we're going to get to see a safety here, I think. I think he's just going to cross the one ball down underneath around the second diamond on the bottom rail and just send the cue ball up into the top left and use the, the six to nine ball as a blocker. But first, an extension. Yep. Tyler with the shot clock working overtime today it's gone off more today than and i think you're going to see that of course the uh, yeah, that was the problem with that wasn't it oh. hitting it too thick and scratching it well i mean luckily for him this this run out is not exactly available no three to the four of course is not easy well the one to the one two where does the, the two, two play yeah. two goes i think up the side rail past the three the one to the to get to there is really tough. She has got ball in hand though, Nate. <coughs> so she'll be... 
Not sure what she's doing here. Coming around in yeah, between the 9 and the 10. Oh, she's caught the 10. Tried and to. As you said, it was difficult. 1 to 2. You know, you know what she was probably doing there, Mark? She was trying to put the 10 ball in the side pocket and play the carom for the win. She hit it just a little bit short. She's trying to get that 10 ball hanging in that right middle pocket. <laughs> it's a creative shot. If it worked out that way, it would have been, huh? You've got <laughs> great imagination. <laughs> Imagination. Yeah, there you go. you from now on. Now it needs... Good shot. This to run, needs it to run. Good shot. Oh, it has. Yeah. Great shot. Yeah, the kick and stick. Uh, jump kick stick. That's, that's my guess. Jump kick stick. He'll Have be you trying ever to, yeah. thought of writing a little bit of poetry? No? Yeah. Absolutely, jump, kick, stick. Play the one ball into the t or the jump, two ball. Jump, stick, in. kick, and stick. Yeah, there you go. Try to uh, play the two into the top left, just in case it falls. But you're trying to leave it just, you know, right around that ten ball, the cue ball. That is. Oh, is the, that's a foul. Hit the ten ball first, I think, didn't he? He rushed that. Yeah, he did. So have now the table is a little bit easier. Now we can talk about that three four. But I don't think it should be too bad. I think the four to the five is actually a little bit more difficult than that. Because the nine ball is covering up kind of where you want to play positioning on. So most of the most of the rubs you're going to get off the four ball are going to be up table off the nine ball. You know, she might even elect to play the four ball into the bottom right. I think she will. I think she'll come around the back side of the 10 ball and play the four into the bottom right. She needs a new glove. Look at that. Oh, dear. Oh. I didn't like where she placed that cue ball either. She was stretching as well. You know, danger of a clothes foul. Why did she have to do that with ball in hand? I wonder what Fedor would have done. Well, Fedor's six foot three. <laughs> Fedor can put the ball wherever he wants, and he's okay. <laughs> Christina can't be more than. Uh, she's got to be around five foot one or two. I think. I think. She, I think uh, PS left this two ball on here. Yeah, it's certainly a gap through there. There you see, right on cue, our cameraman giving us the perfect view. Oh, she oh, missed it she's again. Missed it, and she's just just going through a little bit of a sticky patch at the moment. Things not quite going. Maybe just lost a bit of timing. Oh, you know, a great and, shot. I was talking to Tony Robles about this earlier. With these short races to four, Nate, every single shot is so important. You know, you all of a sudden, you can find yourself behind. So both players suffering a little bit at the moment. And it hasn't been an easy table either, to be no. totally honest, has it? It's been no, a horror of a table, yeah. to be honest. The rack that Christina broke and ran was a beautiful break. Other, the rest of her breaks have been big clusters over near that right side pocket. This is a this is a very touchy shot too. He has to roll this in at speed, so that he can hold underneath the five ball into the top right. Ah, he's, uh, I mean the the speed he played that at. I have to expect that he was trying to play that into the the left middle pocket. But I uh, I don't know. I don't I don't like that that left middle too much. It's pretty thin to that side pocket. Great shot. Yeah, is it going to get out? Shot. It is. Just enough angle, I think, and just draw straight back off this for the. Well, given the stretch he's going to have, he might. might he might well, think, elect or? to go forward with it, but I think I think he should draw. But he's got a lot of. That's good. Good shot. That shot would have been. Well, I guess Christina would have been grabbing the bridge for that one. I think. Oh, and what a miss, and he took that 
very, very quickly, I thought. So, this is a real chance to go to the hill. Needs to just take a little bit of time here, regroup. sort of angle has she got on this eight ball it's okay I think she can what are you doing here Nate running round two rails or uh, I'm just going to draw out of this I'm going to I'm definitely not playing for that right middle pocket well, that, that she kind of looked like she was looking at because if, if you end up uh, if you end up with the wrong angle on that oh, I like her grabbing a bridge here or a rest this is a real cute was so long there it's taller than her look yeah, I like her grabbing the rest Just there. put the long extension on there. What's that, the 12-inch extension, was that? It looked very, a long extension anyway. Looks, it looked about a jump cue length. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she missed a one ball similar to this in the top right. And Pierce over there looks like he's thinking about <laughs> everything that's going on right now. There you go. That's not going. missed it again. And I think that's, I think she just, you know, maybe if there's no shot clock, she she takes a little bit more time on that and, you know, decides that she needs to use the rest for it. Yeah, not the quickest of players. I'm not saying she's slow, of course, but not the quickest of players. She's got that very long pause at the cue ball that she uses. She's a very methodical player. Yeah. We're going to get to see a stroke here, a center ball punch shot, three rails around. How well has he struck that beautiful, great shot? Is it going to slow up in time? Well, this has gone a little bit funny. Well, okay. No Still issues. fancy him to make it. But yeah, no issues. I don't think the scratch is on. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, he makes it, and we're going to make a quick break. We'll be back soon. to the end of day two here in Michigan Battle Creek the Kellogg Arena where we're playing the CSI Predator US Pro Billiard Series and by the end of tomorrow night we will know our last 16 and it will go to double elimination which one won't be in coming back tomorrow will it be Pierce or will it be Christina with 2-2 in the first set 
which one is going to be joining me in the loser circle, Mark. Are you still in? No, I'm uh, ah. <laughs> I'm in the loser circle. I'm in the comms booth with you. I'm the biggest loser this tournament has. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean that, Mark. I don't. I didn't okay, I know you're joking. <laughs> I hope you're joking. It would hurt me if not. Okay, of back to the seriousness of competition, and you know, let's. I think we're going to see a push out here. The is question is to where. Business? I mean, we've seen uh, both players have had four or five jump shots in this match already. Good push over to that right rail. I don't like this push out. Well, there's a little edge. I've just lent over. I don't like this push out. I think I think she's getting it back. How much? How much is available? Well, there's about a catchy amount which so is very very she's, tiny she's gonna get this back i'm not sure because this is tempting you know no well. she'll, she'll get it back there's uh the, if you could avoid the six ball with it and if you can only get a little bit you can't avoid the six ball but if uh if you can't avoid the six ball she'll get it back yep and she did well we'll only know if it was the right decision after she's played this shot six balls big she She's, I, I don't see how you get safe out of it. I mean, it's, it's going to come down to whatever flick she, she gets off the six it, mate. She might make it. Well, she could hit a lot of it, see? Only hope is a... Well, no, it's pulled up short, so... The only... <laughs> the finisher statement, the only hope is a skid ball. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was hoping that it was going to carry on just a little bit more. I thought it would, but it pulled up short. Wow, that was a, a brave shot. Yep. It's not bad, though. This is this is looking pretty good from here. Like I said, uh, her it looks like her only hope from here is going to be maybe a, you know, a, a very uncharacteristic miss or a skid. But right when I say that, he comes up short on the three ball now. So now he might have to force it forward with, uh, with a little bit of inside spin. And this is a stretch as well. He's made it, but now has and he come far enough to avoid the five? Yes. Just, I think. Yeah, he could play it off the rail and play the five into the same pocket as well. If he needed to. And I think from here he will elect to do that. Now we're going to get to see some fire. Oh, maybe this. Yeah, the five will pass the seven. Yeah, you like taking this in the corner, right? Well, I'll tell you what, I like that a lot more than the alternative, which is power drawing out of this to the right rail and back over. Or coming around three rails and hoping you find a window between the 10 and the 7. He's just called his extension, <coughs> so we'll, we'll see. And it's an awkward bridge, too. He doesn't like it, does he? It's an awkward bridge to boot. Great shot. Great shot. So now I think you're going to draw out of this two rails back out towards the center of the table. Keeps the nine ball out of play. Or it'll just come straight down to the left of it. Oh, he, he went the other way around it. All right. Nicely done. Thought he had a little too much angle for that. We're looking like Pierce is going to get to the hill first in the first set. After being down 2 0. Yeah, three on the bounce. And it all stems from those awkward little breaks when they were clusters and they caused those. You know, both players lost their rhythm. I and it's so. very understandable in yep. those situations. So now it's going to be who finds their stroke first. Currently, it appears like it's P.S. from this rack. But, of course, as you remember, he was gifted the last rack. Yeah, he's caught that one nicely. As you said, first person to find their stroke. Certainly found it there. Played it to perfection. So this nice, straightforward 10 ball. 
to win three on the drop and to get himself on the hill and there it is so well Nate Mindham it's been a, a funny little match this so far balls going very very awkward no player getting into their rhythm and it's been a long day let's not forget as well a lot of these players have been here since early morning <laughs> here's Fedor Texan <laughs> <laughs> Texting advice for Christina. She Dear Christina, <laughs> I love you. Stay focused. <laughs> he's probably texting his mum. I know he's very close to his mum. To which I would say, what is his mum doing up at this time? It's late in Moscow. What do you mean, what's his mum doing? His mum is up watching... Ooh, his suppose, yeah. <laughs> her future son, uh, daughter-in-law. Wow. Come on. Oh, I am not, I'm not going there. You're on your own there, Mark. <laughs> now then, how's the break going this time, Nate? You're the man with the eyes. And it's another dry one. Well, not quite as clustered as we've seen from other dry breaks. But I think we're going to be seeing a safety, obviously. I think we're going to... The two ball makes it very, very, very tricky. If the two ball wasn't there, we're going to get the, we would see a bunch of left hand spin spinning underneath the 10 and the 5. I think because it's there, I think we're going to see a bank shot more and going between the 8 and the 10. Yeah, I don't dislike that shot. Yeah. Well, can he bend it round with a, for I, a kick and well, stick? Well, I, I think he can, I think he'll just get to the rail for a kick and stick. And if he comes slightly off the side of the one ball to the right as we look at it on the o on the overhead maybe we'll get cover behind the eight well, it's leaked out a little bit didn't catch it as thick as he wanted to but i think he's got away with it looking down the line doesn't pass the three he is called a foul on himself maybe i'm not sure exactly wh what happened there wow oh no rail. no rail, of course. Yeah, no of course rail, no rail. Yes. Of course no rail. <laughs> There's two commentators here who didn't see it, and we had to rely on the uh, the main technical guy <laughs> to tell us no rail, Nate. You know, I was uh, I was picking on John John Lehman a little bit earlier. He was uh, he had to make a call on the the main table, and he had two other tables out in the arena that were waiting for him to uh, come and watch a hit as well. And I was kind of picking on him. I'm like, you know, John, when are you going to get me on the payroll and help? You know, I can, I can help out with refing. And I, now I see why. I think you've just blown I, your chances yeah. of ever becoming a ref. I think I know why. I can't even, I can't even call that one. You're teetering <laughs> on the edge of never being invited <laughs> back to commentate again. Never mind refing. she gone with this and I think she decelerated on that just Brilliant. lost that rhythm timing just not quite there now we're going to get to find out if she's been watching Jennifer Beretta's kicking videos I saw a movie with Jennifer Beretta in it the other day nine ball pool I think is what it's, is yes, it called nine ball that was the one. Oh, it's oh, a great a hit try. great hit and, and she's got pretty safe as well. It's okay. not bad. Easy safety maybe, but that was a really good escape there from Christina. Yeah, you try to uh, you try to bank this into the top right corner, but you bank it short and come underneath the uh, the six and the four ball in this. Use the six, four, seven, and nine. This blocker's on a safety. You, you have to run that by me again. I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> Banking the three ball into the top right, but if you miss it, you're you're missing it short. That way, it'll bounce up into the end rail and hang out right around that first diamond, hopefully. And your cue ball should be down uh, kind of almost where his hand is, but just a little bit further. Oh, he's made yeah, it. He's, he's made, made it. it. Yeah. He's made it. This is why I like getting the ball a little oh, bit further down I table. Didn't want that. I think he, uh, he had called the bank shot, but he was never intending on no. even trying to make it. As you said, playing it short, right? He uh, he played a two-way shot, but he didn't play it with 
the like understanding of it, he, might, yeah. <laughs> he never played it with the understanding that it's a real shot and that he might make it. Wow, and there again. That was a shot clock follow. Shot clock coming into play made him yep. have a little bit of a slash at it. Yep, last that's second. exactly what it was. Without so properly eyeing it up. Another chance for Christina. And Can actually a, a, a pretty lucky after uh, hooking herself on the back of that eight ball to get back to this table with another great opportunity to win the rack is it's fortunate. Yeah, and this is an even better opportunity now, right? All the balls in the open. I can't see any problem now. Just the seven ball. And it's not a, it's not a big problem, but I would say with where the six ball is, the most natural pocket for it is at the top right, which is blocked by the, the nine ball. So I like I like her to get the cue ball all the way back over on the other side of her hand, or at least right around about where her yeah, hand is. That's perfect. It will draw up off the side yep. route for the bingo seven into the side. Yeah, bingo. Yep, absolutely perfectly played. And it's those little shots, Nate, isn't it? Where you know you finish the wrong side on that, and then it becomes difficult. Now you're making hero positionings, and instead she's just making natural rolling shots although I'll tell you what she came up a, speaking of coming up a little bit short on your angles or a little bit off on your angles she's a little bit more angle here than she wanted yeah needs to use a rail now she might have to well I think she might have to come just short side just draw it to the uh, the top left quadrant of the table and play the eight ball into the bottom left maybe and that's what she elected to do Great shot. Yeah, must play this into the corner now. Nice full stroke on this. We're going to see the hill, hill route. We are going to see hill hill, and it's still the first set. Don't forget, it's two races to four. Oh, strokes that beautiful. This is one of those games where, at the end of a tournament, you look back on. If, if this, if this match takes you through, you'll remember it for a long time. It was a hard, long grind. The balls were difficult. You had to work hard, make some real tough shots sometimes. And in it goes for Hill, Hill, Christina to catch. And Still we are riding through in this first set. These are always the matches that I like to have way late at night, so you don't have to have another match, because these are mentally grueling. It is very, very difficult to to get back out there and play another match right after one of these. I, I think uh, in, you see it a lot, especially in the, the world titles and stuff like that, where you're down to the final 16 and you're in the semifinals. The player that's, you know, if it's a close match going into that final match and the first semifinal's done and the player's waiting, that second semifinalist that makes it to the finals pay attention to this they lose very 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 often if it's a grind getting in there because it takes so much mental stamina and most of the time you're right back out there on the next match yeah. you don't have time to reset you don't have time to get yourself into the right mindset you just got to go right back out there and that's that's very difficult to do yeah and it's even worse to lose it as well right because you've gone through yep. all that agony all that hard work you're tired and then you end up losing it and look she's changed yep. the position at Absolutely. break this time it happened this year in the World Pool Masters, and it happened in the World Nine Ball Championships as well. The player coming into it didn't have a break; was put right back out there, and they lost both times. That being Shane Van Boning and uh, Omar Al Shaheen. Yep. Omar the Victor, of course. Alvin. No, he wasn't. Alvin. Was he? It was Alvin. Uh, no, I mean of that particular match. Yeah, Omar beat Shane, right? No, Alex Kazakis beat ah, Shane. Okay. And then uh, Omar uh, lost to Elvin. What a great safety this was. Wow, what a great safety. And look at the 10 ball. Mark, look at where that 10 ball ended up. Yeah, but... We're at Hill Hill right now. Is there... But is there... Uh, if she, Okay, it's not the end of the world. Does she do... What does she do here? I don't know what to do. I don't... I'll tell you what, she has to get a hit. And if she gets a hit, she could end up leaving the 110 combination on. And if not, do you take on the three ball combination? Look at where the two ball is. How do you get onto it? I'm just, does the one pass the four, the three to get to the 10? I'm not sure. No, it I, does, think you, does I think it? you'll have to play a three ball combination. 
telling you what, this is going to get interesting from here. Don't move the three ball. Don't move the three ball. Oh, dear. She just, oh, that's the worst thing you could have done. Now it's only a two ball combination. Oh, no. Well. Oh, it's that is. It's not 100% guaranteed, this. Well, he can, he can either elect a... So this is the dilemma he's going to have, and you can see where he's looking at for the cue ball. Yeah. You can see he can either sell... I don't like that he's playing a, this a two-way. You just, either go for it or you just don't go, go for, for it. it. Yeah. The shot's not that difficult. Don't make it harder than it needs to be. If you sell out 100% to making it, and you're going to. And he's missed it. If you sell out 100% to make it, you're going to. Can you believe that? Exactly what you were saying. He had the, if he played it just to play the combo... He we're had it more or, or less straight yeah, in. Right? We're moving on to a second set. Now, he's. this doesn't necessarily, it's not necessarily a bad thing here. Even if, uh, it's like, you know what, Christina's in brutal shape if she doesn't get a hit here. because She's going to be on two fouls. And guess where that cue ball is going to be if he can't carry him the 10 ball in. She's going to be frozen underneath that 10 ball. And the one ball is going to be up table. Christina is in a world of hurt if she does not get a, a hit here. Oh, she hasn't got a hit. She's missed it. So she's on two fouls, one more foul, and she will automatically lose. I don't think she and can. I, think, I don't think he can get behind I, the ten ball. I think he's got the carom. I think he can carom into for the short rack and the win. Yeah, yeah, yep, he's no played problem. it, and it goes. Very fortunate first to put that set ten ball there to P.S. Labutis, and we'll be right back with a second. Welcome back to the Kellogg Arena here in Battle Creek, the CSI Predator US Pro Billiard Series Michigan Open. With me in the commentary box, Nate Mindham. And uh, first set, Nate went to Pierce Labutis, and it was a tough, hard fought set. He's breaking off set number two. One ball down to the side pocket. He's going to have a shot on the two ball. No. <clears throat> the nine ball comes into play and says, no fun for you. I think the two ball might cut in the side pocket if you want to go for that. Ooh. If you're crazy like me, you might. <clears throat> I think you I think you push out here. You can see it. I think he could thin it and go up behind the four, maybe. He's looking to see if, how much of it he can actually hit. I think you go up behind the four here. If you can get past the side pocket. Oh, and he got just by it. Oh, he's played an absolute shot. beautiful shot. The three ball takes away the jump opportunity. Should be kicking off the left cushion here. Uh. 
I see that allergy's back. See, it's only when you come and sit next to me, Nate. I think, I think it is. I think, uh, I'm not sure if she called the 10 ball here, but I'd be calling the 10 ball here just in case. That was a good strike, a good hit on it, and that's all you can ask for. And now we'll get to see how uh, how his arm feels, because this shot isn't it isn't bad. It's not uh, it's not a great shot, but there's a chance we'll, top right. Yep. Yep. Top and right. Get a nice draw on it. Absolutely. It's just whether or not he feels comfortable with it, or if he's looking to play another safety. You can play a really good safety from here as well. I like I like him to take it on. Sometimes you can be a little bit too cautious, I think. And he's left a little bit out, has he? It's an easy kick. Well, I, I, think she can, I think she's looking right at it. I think she's going to be banking this out and freezing on the hopefully the bottom of the seven ball for her. Yeah, good call. Nicely played. So this is the last match of the day on the TV table and uh, we will be back though tomorrow midday Eastern time with plenty more action and tomorrow is the big day when we say goodbye to all but 16 players Nate and then we have a redraw and then we get down to the nitty gritty let battle commence at Battle Creek. She'd love to be able to get this off of the right cushion and underneath a nine ball. Left an edge. Oh. Not a nice edge, though. I think this is this is tough. You, we might see the same shot he just played. Just a nice soft kick into the top side of it. You can see the edge, but it's not really an edge that you it's can not do what anything he wants. with. It's not a nice edge, is it? No, I mean, maybe... Called extension. He's calling the eight ball, so he's, he's going to kick in hard into this. Oh, it's a good hit. He's going to get safe. Throws his hand up to apologize for the roll he just got. This is a kick called the right hand, called the pocket. Once again, needs a good solid hit on this two ball. Does nice get shot. a solid hit. Great and shot. She'll be get very there, yeah. happy with this. Look at this. Okay, she's left an edge, but it's, again, it's not a nice edge. I think uh, Pierce is going to be trying to get his cue ball thin off the two ball up underneath the five and the eight ball. He doesn't want to catch this too thick. He did one of these earlier on and caught it too thick and scratched. This time, much better. Yeah. Cue ball heading towards where you were saying, Nate, exactly. Is it going to make it? It's not going to make it. It hasn't. Now, this is. It's on nice, the right line. This is a nice shot for Christina to really get that stroke going again. <coughs> and you hear some announcements in the background. There's another tournament going on here. It's the Michigan Open Amateur Tournament as well. So, two tournaments going on at once. Total, we have 47 uh -oh, uh -oh, tables Mark. in the uh -oh, Kellogg Mark. Arena. Oh, what's oh, she done? No. She's done it again. And she'd done that earlier on, didn't she, on the three ball? Do you remember? Yeah, hooked I do. herself behind that eight ball. Just wonder if she should have gone. Mm, I wondered if she was going to draw back off that. This is a tough ball to hit. It doesn't look like it is, but because it's in the open kind of by itself. Oh, she almost kicks it in. And look what she left. Where do you get into trouble here? Yeah. Only there. I was going to say, that's, that's a good way. That was the only shot that could have gone that's, wrong. That's a good way of doing it. 
Wow. I'm pretty sure Pius just heard me, and he's like, you think that nothing can go wrong here? Is that another one out of your Watch book? this. Is that, is that in your book? Watch this. <laughs> I think we're gonna see. I don't even know what we see here. Do, you, do we bank it and try to draw back into it? I think that's. I think. I, I think we either he either banks us and tries to draw to the left side of it, or he draws it and tries to run well, into he it. Better and hurry he has, up and do whatever he's gonna do because the shot clock's going. And he has banked it, and now we're gonna see him freeze this cue ball to the eight ball. I think. Or. Or you know one of. Five other shots. Yeah, right. that I'm sure you could suggest. <laughs> well, uh, you can cut this into the top right. Actually, it's it's not a bad shot. I mean, it's not easy. I'm not trying to suggest that it's easy, but yeah, he's called it in the side, so he's playing the safe. <clears throat> yeah, he'll be. He's really trying to put it underneath the ten and the nine balls where he's trying to get it to. He doesn't want this going too near the pocket. Oh, it's a great shot. Look, it's yep. coming by the ten ball. Now then. She's jumping at this. Well, what's the good news about this shot? What can be good about this shot? She's jumping over the edge of the eight. No, she's not. She's changed her mind. Extension called. Is she calling the ten ball? Just in case. I don't, yeah, I think it's a just in case. Just I, think, in I case. think it's pretty comfortably lined up above the... The, the corner pocket. I went to school with a guy called Justin Case. Can you believe that? It would have been great if he'd have become a pool player, wouldn't it? <laughs> so I'm assuming his name is Justin. It's and his Justin. last name is Case. Yeah. Yeah. No, his first name was Just and his surname was in Case. <laughs> and makes the table a little ugly. So we're going to see another safety here. You're not thinning this? Not well. No? No, he'll be looking to try to get underneath the... Underneath the 7 and 8 ball. Try to get the He's 5 balls... For cover, yeah? Yeah, try to get his 5 balls close to the 9 and 10 as he can, although it looks like... Looks like that's going to be difficult to do. If you can get the 5 ball underneath Whoa. the 9, that's really what you'd like to do. That's a good shot. He's played there. Where's the cue ball going? Is it going to pull up He's in time? Okay. He's okay. It's a good shot. Oh, this is not nice, is it? No. John Lehman just checking to see if the ball is frozen or not. So you got to hit above the side pocket here with. I think he called frozen. As much, as much inside spin as you can get on this. In fact, she's even going to add a little bit by trying to mass a it. She might even make it. She might even make it. She might even make it. Oh. oh. And our consolation prize. I don't is know about you, but I'm getting excited. <laughs> what a game! Uh, this has been a long game of pool right here. This is still game one. It really has been a game of cat and mouse the whole match so far, hasn't it? I'm not going to say anything about what can go wrong here. I don't want PS to uh, to show me what can. Put a big draw stroke on this one, I think. Side rail and back out. Just a little. Uh, oh, and what did you say, Nate? Can't see what can go wrong here. Nothing. I didn't say anything. <laughs> wow, and it's that seven ball again. Oh, and he's got his his head in his hand over there, trying to figure out what the heck's going on. My friend that I was telling you about, just in case, actually became a goalkeeper for a soccer team. Really? And he was so bad, he put his head in his hands and dropped it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm here all week. That's gross. I'm here all week, my friends. It's a good thing people aren't paying for this, huh, Mark? <laughs> it's a free stream on Billion.tv. <laughs> So, Christina then perfect on the ten ball to take the first rack in rack, uh, sorry, in set number two, and in it goes. This is going all the way, and we will be back to show you which way very soon.
front of you. That's the money. We are back. Christina to catch to break off, leading one rack to nil. Second set training by one set to nil. Still with me in the booth, Nate Mindham. And look, we've got another little cluster over the right hand side, Nate. And another dry break. Does the two ball pass into the side pocket? It does. How so, many times have we seen that two ball over by that side pocket? That's when you know you're hitting it consistently. And she keeps she's sticking with that break from that side, and it hasn't been working, and it's the same result again. So the question is, can he get his cue ball to the bottom rail without hitting the ten ball? And he's not even going to try. He's going to draw out of it. That's a great shot. Great shot. So I think we're going to see a safety here. He'll bank the two ball into the top side of the four ball. Run his cue ball underneath down to the ten ball maybe. Yeah, I think I like that. I don't think you want to try to bank the two ball to make it. I don't think Christine is going to like it. Or is there going to be a gap? Uh, I think there is. There is. It doesn't pass the three though, I don't think. No, but I think she can get a pretty good safety here. She can run her cue ball over into that six ball. Or she could bank the two ball around the three ball and try to go off the top cushion and come up into the six and the nine ball. At least to avoid the possible scratch there if she's playing up past the six. She's digging down. So she's going to be banking this and just trying to keep it over into the four and the five ball. It's a couple windows, and you might end up leaving a jump shot at it. Oh, she drew it out. There's no way she was trying oh, to make that she bank shot. Made it. She didn't mean to. Didn't call it. Didn't want it. And now and she might be back in here. I'm I think not sure she's if he can get through to it. Can Pierce get through to the no. three ball? He'll be giving it back. Yeah, he'll be giving this back. He's looking at the possibility of her jumping it. He's giving yeah. it back straight away. She's coming with the jump cue issue. Yeah, there's you don't you don't take this jump shot on even if if you don't have the if you don't have to just because how do you get onto the four ball? Yeah, as you say, she has to, and we've got a beautiful view of it there. Look, you're right in amongst the action with us. It's right there. A view like this makes the pockets look bigger. And where's this three ball going to end up? He's going to have a jump shot go. now, too. This one's a little bit better than the one that she just had to shoot at, though. Yeah, she taps the table to say sorry. He taps the table to say that's where I'm jumping to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know if this, is a, this isn't one you really apologize for. I think this is a... Oh, and he's caught. Oh, yes, he wow. has. He's caught the eight ball. Wow. John Lehman straight in there with the gloves, giving the cue ball a quick clean. So a great chance then for Christina to go 2-0 ahead. And we could be heading for a shootout again, who knows? We've had been a lot of them today on There's the TV been a table. a lot of them today. We've had three. I think you've had four. Has it been four? Could be. So this five boys you can see on your, on 
he screens there, just squeezes past the 10 ball. Nicely played, gone over. a little bit too far though. Yeah, we'll just see her go over and back with this one. Shouldn't be an issue. Just got to make sure you keep your head down and don't undercut this. It's very common for this one to be undercut and catching too much of the rail going into the pocket. Are you playing any English on this at all? Just a, just to twist a right hand spin, just to keep it from going down table. Oh, she ran into oh, the nine not ball. Again. Oh, it's okay though, not as bad. Well, she's got a shot, but she's gonna have to put a good draw stroke on this one to again stop the cue ball from going too far down table. This is another one that's often undercut so that you can hit a little bit more full and not lose the cue ball down table. I'll tell you what, we might not be... She overcut it. We might not be uh, on form tonight, but the cameraman certainly is. He's coming up with some great shots for us. Absolutely. Isn't he? This production team has been amazing the entire event. Huge shout out to them and the work they've been putting into this. Yeah, it's, it's, it's strange, isn't it? You, you see these, you see the table on your TV screen, and you think, well, it's just, you know, just a camera point and a couple of guys talking rubbish in the booth. One. <laughs> so much goes on behind the scenes. As there. You say. Just barely gets there. So now, do you run this cue ball around the ten ball for the nine ball, or do you just kind of take your medicine and take a longer nine ball? I think you just take your medicine, take a little long... Oh, it was straight in. I thought he had a little angle. What do I know? I've wondered if he was watching another table there for a moment. <laughs> it <looked> <laughs> I like didn't say anything. <laughs> Sometimes you can get tricked by the angles. I'll tell you what, he overdrew this one quite a bit. But he did not overhit this one. Yeah, that played that perfect. So we're going to be knotted up at one to one. And in it goes. So we're all square. One, one in the second set. Well, it's going to be a long one, this I think. I can see this going all the way. I think, and I'm not going to say who, but I think it's going to be one ten nine on a shootout 10-9 on a shootout that's <laughs> quite that is quite the uh, the prediction there and Christina sat there thinking focusing well, well Mark I hope you're right because if you're right that means that we got a lot more pool coming and a lot more excitement tonight well I knew you'd enjoy it because I remember from when you were doing your online tournaments you always used to say, and this will always stay with me, you always used to say, I don't care who wins as long as it goes down to the last rack. Absolutely. And I can remember being in England at the time, commentating virtually, and it was silly o'clock for me. It was all right for you. We had a couple long ones. Decent enough break, caught the dry ball straight on, but again, it's dry. Oh, and the cue ball. I am away. going to guess that we're going to see a push out here. What do you think? <laughs> yeah. Where do you push to? What's available? If you can get to it, which I'm not sure she can. Do you know what I don't mind playing here? Play the nine ball and try and get the cue ball over to the left-hand corner of the bottom corner of the table. Is he able to get? Is she able to get to this one ball? I don't think she's able to get to the one ball. No, I'm playing a push onto the onto the nine, right? Oh, yeah, I see what you're saying now. Push onto the nine and try and get the cue ball down into this bottom left-hand corner as you look at your screens. I don't even mind pushing into the nine ball and just leaving the jump shot. Well, she's just left. That's not a bad shot either. Well, I don't she's not dislike that. I I do. Because <laughs> this is going to be behind the six after this, yeah. I, th I think he's going to try for the five ball, and I think the one ball is going to be... 
I think the one ball is going to be over on the left side here. Left side of the screen, I think the cue ball is going to be somewhere near the, the five ball. Or the one ball is going to be down there and the cue ball is going to be underneath the nine and the eight. Quick, choose another one. <laughs> <laughs> to kick this one rail. Yeah, I think that for a push out, that's just too easy of a return. I think uh, when picking a safety, or when picking a push out, you have to push it to a spot that it's not obvious that you're going to get it back, and it's not obvious that you're going to have to shoot, you know, that uh, your opponent's going to take it. And I think where she pushed it to is too obvious that the, their opponent's going to take it. There's never a doubt that they might give it back. Well, it's paid dividends. Now has the one. I'm just wondering if he might play this off the nine just to free the nine up a little bit. I'm not it sure if the nine goes in the side, so play it off the nine ball just like that. Oh, don't tie the seven up, though. Don't tie the seven up. He has. No, it's, he's okay. Seven ball goes to the side pocket still. Oh, he's okay. Is he? Yeah, there's plenty. Of, there's plenty enough clearance. You're my eyes. <laughs> so now he's just got to get from this four ball to the five ball. It's going to be the key, isn't it? The key to success, Mark, it will be. I read a book called The Key to Success. I think it was by, might have been by Zig Ziglar, one of your famous Americans, was it? I don't know. Drag draw on this down table. Not that I've ever read a book, of course. Never learned how to read. I'm still waiting for you to write one. Well, we already know what the name's going to be. Do you remember what it was? Don't buy this book. Yeah, don't buy this. Oh, don't overhit this. Don't overhit it. Oh, he's good. Real good. Perfect. Perfect angle just to follow forward two rails and out. I get a little feeling here that you might be a little bit on the Lithuanian side here. Nonsense. <laughs> I don't care who wins, Mark. I just want to see it go hill hill. Well, we had that in the last set. And if we get it in this set as well, Christina needs to win it. Well, Gives a funny little glance towards the angle that he's left himself here, and I can see why. Are you running through the 10 here, or what are you doing? Uh, probably playing it with uh, just high and inside, trying to miss the 10 ball. And okay. Well, I did use the 10, and it's sort of okay. Nicely done. It's going to be 2 1 to P.S. Labrutis. In it goes. And we'll be taking a short break, so we'll be back in just a moment with the rest of the match.
Venus Labutis leading Christina to catch 2 1 in the second set and by one set to zero. So it's a must win set for Christina and Pierce breaking off. Oh, I love this camera angle. The left hand side. Love this camera angle. Well, the cue ball getting kicked around, the ball's getting kicked around. And the seven comes to spoil the fun. Or does it? Well, he, he can't make it, but I'll tell you what, that uh, the safety puts him pretty dangerously close to uh, rail first, kicking that 10 ball in yeah. on his way to a safety. So I, I suspect he'll call this 10 ball just in case he happens to flick off of it. But I think we're going to be seeing a safety. I think he might think he can make this, you know. Oh, I mean, maybe, but I... Cameras can do weird things. Yeah. I was going to say, cameras can do weird things, but that doesn't look like it's anywhere close to being on. Well, how much of this two ball can she hit? You're right in line with this shot, Nate, if you look around from the screen. What's it looking like? She can cross it as if she was going to bank it, but we're going to see a full-out save. She can't make it. And look at that. If that 10-ball wouldn't have been there, she would have drilled that bank. Ooh, how, how much do you trust, trust your speed control here? Yeah, I'm playing, I'm thinning this off, playing it into the 10 ball. I'll take the cue ball round behind, maybe. Can he get round the back of the seven? I'm not sure. I don't think he wants to try. I think if you're going to do anything, I think you want to try to wrap it a little bit tighter and go in between the seven and six. Go full into the 10 instead of thinning it. The problem with thinning it is you might go off the top of the 10 ball and end up uh, over in front of that top right. Or the bottom right pocket. Yeah, he's played it well. Okay, he hasn't got a hook, but he's got a pretty good distance. Yeah, and there's not a lot of cover for her to get behind. Do you like going behind the seven here or thinning it over towards? Yeah, I think I think I like that shot. You could also just bank it up table by the ten. That's not going to be a... I can't quite oh. see if she's... I think she's got a little bit of cover. She's got right. the potting angle. I don't think he can make it, but she's going to be underneath that seven ball. I think he's going to three rail this two ball out. If he, think, if he thinks he can do it... Yeah, he's just called the ref over to see if it's frozen. If he thinks he can do it, I actually like sending this two ball five rails. Oh, he's kicking up into it. He must not be able to get any of it all. And he left it. So the question is, do you want the combination? I don't think so. I think you just kind of draw it back and try to get underneath the seven. And the trouble is, if you make the nine. Two ball shouldn't get to the nine if she sh elects to shoot that shot. It should end up quite a bit short. Played it okay. He's going for the jump stick again. I think he's followed the last two times he's, he's grabbed this cue. Yeah, he caught the eight ball, didn't he? Trying to go over the eight ball before. Oh, where's the cue ball this time? Close to the scratch, Nate. So this is, it's almost, it's almost unfair for Christina to have to come into the rack at this point with this shot. She hasn't hit a meaningful ball now in maybe two or three racks, which turned out to be quite a bit of TV time. And now she's expected to come. She didn't even want to take the shot on, which I don't blame her. Yeah, 
this is a, is this a typical kick and stick or is he going to go for it? I think you take the shot on. There's a lot of good shots that can come out of it. Oh, nice safety. Christina, maybe just a little bit cold, and it is a little bit cold in the arena. I did say that earlier on. It's not the warmest of places, Michigan, coming from uh, Florida and Las Vegas, where it was very, very warm. But to me, this is just like being in England. Yeah, it's been raining the whole time, too. You probably feel right at home with it. <laughs> the receptionist in the hotel this morning said, I arranged it just for you. I think she's after a tip. Oh, it was close. A little long. So now P.S. with a great opportunity to get himself to the hill. Yeah, already leading 2-1. And he's one set up. And you know what? This is what I call a stop shot run out. He could actually play this. His first four shots without actually moving the cue ball hardly at all. This three ball must not pass the seven. I was under the impression you might be able to. Oh, and it does not. I'm looking right down the line. So now it goes from... Uh, me saying he might not have to move the cue ball at all to now having to go Around three the rails. Oh, and he's <laughs> caught the seven look, with the cue ball. And this has gone wrong, Nate. I would stop predicting things like... <laughs> yeah, I just got to... Whenever Pius is at the table, I just got to, uh, you know, just... Maybe if I start saying everything can go wrong here. That's an option. Still has a shot on this four ball, but it's a lot more difficult than it should have been, of course. The position is, uh, it's there. Just have to roll this ball in. How's he hit it? Oh, pretty well. I think he hit that like he, I think he hit that like he, uh, like he was trying to get out of here. Like he's got dinner reservations. Yeah, I was just going to say, he's just picked up the pace slightly in the last... He's playing now like he's got dinner reservations to make it to. You'll have to be quick. Everything shuts around here around 8 o'clock, doesn't it? <laughs> Saying that, what's it, what is the time? What is the time? Local time is 9.53 p.m. Talking of nines, and it's almost ten. Wow, he's overdrawn this a little bit, hasn't he? He'll be grabbing the extension. This shouldn't wow. be an issue. The only thing you want to do here is don't hit it soft. Don't give it an opportunity to skid. Give it a little bit. Give it a little punch. In it goes. And that'll Cue get him ball. to the hill. Safe on the hill then, Pierce Labrutis, one away. We'll be back after this.
welcome back you join us with P.S. Lebutis from Lithuania breaking off to take the second set and the match and knock Christina to catch out of this year's CSI Predator Pro US Pro Billiards Series in the Michigan Open and he's made a ball this time now then he can get through to the one but doesn't have a shot on it it's almost uh, it's a little bit enticing to kick off the top rail and try to kick the ball into the the side pocket yeah with the two close by a little no. bit enticing I don't think you take that shot on but he's called it Nate uh, he might he's be calling it he might be well I'll tell you what if, if he if he kicks his ball into the side pocket as you Brits would say I fancy his chances of running out if he gets a shot let's have a look no didn't strike and it instead, well instead and he's sold out there look and this nice angle now on the one ball for Christina to get back up for the two so got to get to the two to the three and the three to the four she's got the right side of the two ball really fighting for her life here and it's good to see I love the competitive side of her played a really nice draw shot there coming across the face of the three I like that shot mate I uh, yeah, I don't I don't know if I do I think I like getting onto that left rail I think it's easier to get onto the four ball with that nine ball is going to be a big ball here I like going, I like taking the nine ball out of the equation here and hitting that long rail on the left as well. Going about at three rails? Yeah. I think you still got to stay to the right of it. Oh, she's this just nine glanced off be huge. the ten. She's this caught is, the ten ball, which she didn't want to do. This is why I like the left side, take the ten ball out of play, and you could just go off one rail and... Yeah didn't finish on the three as she wanted to did she slightly overdrew so two. now we're going to be looking at a kick and stick and she's played it well great shot beautifully couldn't play it better we'll tap on the table from Pierce to the table with the jump stick squabbling over whether or not someone called safe what you say is also going on around here Mark there's an amateur tournament going on there's an amateur tournament going on it's the Min Michigan amateur open Well, he's opened the six and the eight into better positions, and he's left the four as well. Yeah. So this... Yeah, that's, he got a little fortunate, though, that that four ball stayed as close to as it did to the rail. <coughs> I think she really needs to go for this now. Should be. Be it, confident. Yeah. It should be okay, but I think she actually has to play this shot with a little bit of outside spin, because that seven ball might end up forcing a scratch if she doesn't stay to the left of it. So she'll need just a little bit of twist of left hand spin. Oh, and she's caught Ooh. a lovely nudge onto the seven ball. The right nudge. Yes, so the other side of that ball, and she's out. she's pulling the cue ball out and handing it to John. So just four more shots now. And you can only, you know, imagine the pressure that she must be under right now. She 
which is certainly competitive which is one of the main qualities you need to play this game especially on these TV tables oh, just a little bit short on this is she she's okay no problem if she wants to give it a little bit extra she can come short side on the nine ball if she wants to just feather it in she'll have plenty of real estate to use to stay good on the nine ball but if she wants to give it a little extra to let her stroke out she can always come short side of the nine we haven't got a lot of time Christina she does have her extension she elects to give it a little extra and overran positioning by a little bit oh, this is nerve-wracking for me watching Tell you what, this actually does open up the side pocket. I think. I think it. I think if she makes it, though, I think she comes below the side pocket, but that makes her run right at the ten ball. It's a great shot. Oh, she's played it so well. What a great shot that is. So, still fighting this temple for three two so well done and gets a very well deserved round of applause there and the crowd sticking around to watch this one mate it's uh, it's becoming enthralling it's been a battle absolutely it has and it's not over yet you know, a lot of people think, oh, it's just running, breaking and running all the time. Paul isn't always like that, especially in this short format that we've been seeing over the last couple of days. You know, even the, 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 the top elite pros, shall we say, they're not always running out. We are using the triangle rack. We are getting some clusters. And there is that added pressure, of course, of the short race. And also losing that first set straight away puts you under pressure because you know the Absolutely best you can expect it does. is a shootout which increases even more pressure so Christina then to break off to go heel heel you said you wanted heel heel oh, absolutely I do Christina to catch once heel heel as well How's the break going? Has she made a ball? She is not going to get her wish. At least not as far as getting a ball down on the break. Seven balls so close to that side pocket. Straightforward safety here for Pierce. Is it going to get played this nice? Traveling, traveling. Yeah, good. Good shot. And the most important part is that she doesn't have a one rail at it without spinning it quite a bit underneath it. So she's probably going to have to kick maybe above the eight ball with maybe just a little bit of left hand spin. Yeah, chance of going around the back of this. Well, there's a, and there's also a, a roll where you hit the bottom side of it and scratch into the top left as well. Yeah. Oh, she hit it well. Needs she a bit a of great. luck. And she's left the seven combo. Yep. Yep. One seven combo. You want to hit it thin so the one ball runs down towards the bottom left pocket. And you need to make your, up your mind because there, there, is, there is a way that the one ball could end up going into the bottom left on this. So you need to decide whether or not you're going to hit it hard enough to get it all the way to that pocket. And if you're going to, you need to potentially save the one ball. Uh, okay, well, no reason to talk about that anymore. <laughs> I don't like this, though. I, I don't like holding it for that, and it, it's and this is kind of the reason why. I think uh, if you thin it, the one ball goes down, and you're, you're going to have a lot more opportunities to play position on the two ball, where now he's going to have to... I, I don't... Honestly, I don't really know how you get onto the two ball from here. You almost got to super draw it off the bottom cushion. Yeah, no, you can play this low left... I think come round towards the 10 ball maybe play the two into the same pocket uh, I, I I think I think that you probably run into if you don't run into the three ball I think you run into the six or the two ball 
and then you're relying on a good roll. Oh, he's played a good shot. This is now it, though. This is you run into the six or the two ball, and then you're relying on a good roll. Yeah. You'd have to really draw that ball well into a very tight wrapping of that bottom left corner. This isn't bad, though. I think he'll just uh, thin cut it up the rail as if he was trying to make it. He's going to do the same thing with the cue ball. All right. You could have also cut the, the two ball straight up the rail and try to get it right around that, kind of where it's at. Well, late night here in Battle Creek. And we are in the Kellogg Arena. And if this goes to a long shootout, we might need Kellogg's for breakfast. Wouldn't mind me a nice bowl of Captain Crunch right now. a good hit and she got a bit of luck what a oh, roll she has when you hit a ball good sometimes you get good rolls and that's what we're seeing there so we have to kick off of the left rail I think here and he got a hit and actually I think this passes the three does it yes I think it does oh, she's having a look she's straight up didn't take her much time to look at it so just don't over hit this and get back up into the six ball shouldn't be an issue yeah, I was going to say I like going into the ten here and oh, she's she taking her eye off the pot and she got fortunate yeah, once again, she's got a roll. So maybe Lady Luck is turning towards Christina to catch. Well, I'll tell you what, she doesn't want to rely on that. She's going to want to take care of one of these opportunities in a hurry. Yeah. Because while, while PS has struggled a little bit in this match, you don't want to continue giving them opportunities to, to find a gear. <laughs> Trying to mass a shot here. Oh. What a yes, shot. what a great what shot. What a shot. Just caught the three ball. What a shot that was. So now, do you go rail first with a ton of high right? I think I think you do. A ton of high right to spin way up table. Oh, he's going to be he's going to take distance on this. He's going to pop it off the rail as far as he can get it. Take your medicine. Now then he had a four ball much more difficult than this. In an earlier rack, remember, stroked it in. And then went on to miss the seven, I believe. The seven ball's been tough on him. Luckily for him in this rack, the seven ball's off the table. What a great shot. Oh, once again, stroked it in beautifully. Nice angle on this five ball. Stun it into the side, out for the six. I think when you make a great shot like you did on that Massé shot, I think that's uh, that's all you need some time as a spark to, to get yourself into a gear. Yeah, it gives you a little bit of a boost, right? Gets you that little bit of confidence to wow, he's get a little with, swagger in this game. He certainly played that with confidence. Look at this coming round two rounds yep. perfectly. And this is exactly what I was talking about. So you get that swagger into your game, that little bit of confidence. It adds just a little bit of, uh, well... I guess I can't really describe it any better than swagger. It's just you just look comfortable around the table, floating around. This player right here looks different than the player we've seen in the last few racks. Yeah, Christina fearing the worst now. Just three shots away from the elimination from this year's CSI Predator US Pro Billiard Series Michigan Open. Just stop shot on the nine and then the ten gotta say unmissable into the right hand corner for victory and in it goes and that's it we're back tomorrow good night